Hello everyone, my name is Tianline and today I will talk about the different ways how you can start PvP in the Elder Scrolls Online. We will talk about how you can enter Zero Deal, the Imperial City, Battlegrounds and also how you can start a duel. If you are only interested in a specific topic, please take a look in the description. Now we will talk about how you can enter Zero Deal. First you need to reach level 10 to get your official invitation to Zero Deal, which you will receive per mail. If you want to go now to Cyrodiil, you have to open your inventory. On the top of your window, click on the Alliance War icon or press the L key. The Alliance War window will open and you can choose which campaign you want to enter. As you can see, every campaign has different rules set. Before we are able to join a campaign, we have to set our home or guest campaign. Since my character is still not maximum level, I will choose now the below 50 campaign. Here on the side you can see how many of your friends are member of this campaign and also how populated the server is at the moment. If you see a lock sign, that means that the server is full for players of this alliance. You are still able to enter the campaign, but you will have to wait a bit until you will get ported to Cyrodiil. To enter a campaign, click on the Enter campaign or press the E key. A small campaign ready window will appear. Confirm that you want to join your chosen Cyrodiil campaign and you will be immediately ported. Once you are there, I would recommend you to do first the Welcome to Cyrodiil tutorial quest. These quests will give you an overview about some topics of Cyrodiil and you also earn two skill points. To leave Cyrodiil, you have to go back to one of the base camps of your alliance. That means for the Evenheart Pact you have to travel to the northeast of Cyrodiil, to either the northern Morrowind Gate or southern Morrowind Gate. If your character belongs to the Daggerfall Covenant, you have to travel to the northwest of Cyrodiil, to the northern High Rock Gate or southern High Rock Gate. And members of the Admeri Dominion have to travel to the southern part of Cyrodiil, to the western Elsewhere Gate or eastern Elsewhere Gate. Once you are at one of your Lion's base camps, look for the regular Ray Shrine, which you have to use to travel back to the other zones of Tamriel. Now we will talk about the Imperial City. To enter this area, you need the Imperial City DLC and your character has to be at least level 10. The Imperial City is located in the center of Cyrodiil. That means we have to enter first Cyrodiil to be able to travel to the Imperial City. Like mentioned earlier, enter a Cyrodiil campaign of your choice. Once you are in Cyrodiil, you have to travel to the center of the map, where you can find three entrances to the Imperial City sewers. You can find one entrance north, one west and one south of the Imperial City. You will start your journey at the Imperial City sewers, but you can also go upstairs and explore the Imperial City districts. If you want to leave the Imperial City, you have to go back to the door which leads back to Cyrodiil. You will find yourself ported back to one of your Alliance base camps in Cyrodiil. Another option to leave the Imperial City is to use the Sigil of Imperial Retreat, which will port you back from anywhere in the Imperial City direct to your Alliance base in Cyrodiil. For example, you can buy the Sigil at the Telva General Merchant in the Imperial City sewers for 10,000 alliance points. Next, we talk about Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds are small group PvP matches with different game modes. To be able to play Battlegrounds, you have to be at least level 10 and you have to own the Morrowind chapter. To start a Battleground match, you have to open your group and activity window. There you have to choose Battlegrounds, activate the server crab back and then click on Join Queue. The game mode is randomly chosen by the game. Battleground matches are fast paced and last around 15 minutes. You can play in Cyrodiil, Imperial City and Battlegrounds alone or within a group. Another way to fight against other players is dueling. You can battle another player in any PvE zone and it is not possible to duel another player in any of the PvP zones. To start a duel, you can choose the dueling command via the interactions menu or through the slash duel command. Once the duel starts, you have 5 seconds to prepare, and then the duel will begin. Duels are centered around the flag, and the duelists have to remain within the duel radius. If someone leaves the radius, it will be treated as a forfeit. Once a player reaches 0 health, the other player wins the duel, and the losing player can resurrect themselves at no cost. If you are not interested in dueling, you can also auto-decline dueling invitations. Open your settings. Then go to Social and Notifications and activate auto decline duels. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick overview of the different ways how you can start PvP in the Elder Scrolls Online. Thanks for watching and it would be wonderful if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a good day and until next time, tschüss!